Initial defense, it's finally here. After a super long wait, we'll be getting a brand new car racing anime in the near future. After Initial D's official end in 2014, no such project was heard of again until the reveal of MF Ghost, which is an indirect sequel of Initial D. But even including MF Ghost, there is just no other popular car racing anime series. Considering Initial D's success, there's an obvious question. Why? Why isn't there another car anime if Initial D was so popular? Well, I don't have the answer to that question. I do have something different, a brand new upcoming car racing anime series. High Drivers is the official name of this project and first of all I must say, how the hell did they manage to strike a deal with Toyota? Yes, apart from Honda, Subaru and Nissan, Toyota will be making an appearance too, even though there's obviously street racing involved. So what's the anime gonna be about? Well, unless you speak Japanese, you probably won't find out. This project has its own YouTube channel called, surprisingly, High Drivers. Here they publish tons and tons of videos, most of them being podcasts, sadly in Japanese with no English subtitles. FM but among these piles and mountains of podcasts, the creators also published two very important videos. The teaser, which they released in March, and a super long music video released in November. Both in 2022, obviously. First, the teaser. There isn't much more to it than a Honda and a Six starting and the beginning of a song, which would later be released in the music video. The most important things to take from this teaser are the car brands, which are somehow officially licensed, and the studios behind this project, Sunrise and Bandai Namco Arts. We'll come to these later on, so just keep them in mind. The second, a very important video is the MV they released in November. This is the big one. While the opinion about the song may vary throughout the community, like for example I, thing is just... trash. But it's all a matter of preference, and this is wildly out of my preference window. But the animation is a whole different story. You may have already noticed during this video that the animation is just gorgeous. The effects, the very delicate use of 3D is just stunning. Even the transitions look seamless and fit the video beautifully. I haven't seen many other music videos this year, but I'd say this one is very much a contender for the music video of the year award. Anyway, let's stop drooling for a while. Well. You can keep on drooling while I tell you more about the setting of this anime. Now, because almost every piece of information about this show is in Japanese, I have very limited sources. But there are still some. Like, for example, according to Anilis.co, Set at Gotemba, an area at the foot of Mount Fuji with neighborhoods that vary wildly in terms of cityscape and culture. High Drivers follows the laws of teams of street racers who gather and compete in daily races where the only rule is that speed is everything. It basically sounds a lot like if Need for Speed Carbon was an anime. There isn't much more information about the show than this, not even the release date. I mean, everyone everywhere is saying it's 2023, which would make sense to unveil the project a year before, but I couldn't find any official source to confirm that. Either it's just my incompetence or the inability to speak Japanese, but for now the source is... Trust me, bro. Another thing I'm not sure is publicly known is the number of episodes. I couldn't find any official number anywhere, granted maybe it's among the gazillions of podcasts on their channel, but when I arrived at myanimelist.net, it mentioned that it's only 3 minutes long and that it's finished airing. So apparently the music video was it? Well, I honestly don't believe that, they wouldn't hype a music video so hard. One particular thing that fans are afraid of is this. Not only is there a cars tag, but hello, it says musical. And if you browse through the comments on the music video, you can see some people saying that they hope the musical part won't ruin the car part. I personally can't imagine a car racing musical, and I'm hoping for the love of god that this is just a random tag and the music video isn't actually foreshadowing, but rather an unusual entry in the new anime list. One way I'd be fine with it being a musical though is if the main characters were also musicians, which I don't think is unlikely since you can see shots like these in the MV. Now let's take a look at the studio. Sunrise, was it? It's actually the same as Bandai Namco Filmworks, so there's actually only one studio working on it in case you thought it was two. Nope, it's the same. But the real question is, do they have enough experience? Did they produce any bangers to prove that they can get stuff done and get it done good? Well, for those who don't know Sunrise, let me surprise you. This studio was founded all the way back in September 1972. This studio is older than my dad. Guys, let me know if the studio is older than your dad's in the comments. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe and like this video, that is, <laughs> if you like it of course. But let's get back to Sunrise Studio. Over the 50 years of its existence, it has released this many shows. 
Oh. The list is long, isn't it? Or, in one word, 184. Among them, some of the greatest shows of all time, like Code Geass, Gintama, or Cowboy Bebop? Be Bebop? I have no idea how to pronounce that. So, on one hand, you could say that the show is in good hands, and at least when it comes to animation quality, it sure is. On the other hand, all these banger animes were released like 15, 20 years ago. So there's definitely a chance that this one will join them in the Hall of Fame. But how big is it really? Well, let's see. Let me know in the comments what you think about this.